today I'll be replacing standard halogen Xterra M16 landscape lights for new LED upgraded lights. These lights are 12 volt with 500 aluminums of light and right here on the front package it says that it specifically replaces the halogen MR16 lights. First I'll need to turn off the power to the system so I'll go to the control box and turn the dial off. Now that the power is off I can replace these bulbs. To gain access to the bulb in this particular housing I'll turn the top side of the housing counterclockwise while holding the bottom. In the top part of the housing there will be a sight glass with a gasket that helps seal out water and debris. Now this bulb should pop right up and this light is corroded so it's a good thing it's being replaced. You may need to use a screwdriver or a tool to go back and forth gently while taking this bulb out. Now I'm going to match these up. This is a MR16 12 volt to 20 watt. And I'll match them up next to each other. They look pretty good. And I'll just put the plugs next to each other just to eyeball. And they are going to be the correct lights. And now I'll check on the inside of the outlet. And I'll look one last time at the plugs. This is going to fit just fine. I use my fingers at the bottom and let this gently rest on the outlet and then firmly push down with my thumbs. Now I'll set the sight glass back in the top part of the housing, making sure that the gasket seats properly on the inside of the housing. And then I'll turn this clockwise and that one's good to go. Sometimes these lights will look like this. They almost look like they should be replaced, but I'm just going to do the bulb because these lights still do function properly. I'm going to take the top off, flip out this sight glass. I'll take off the gasket, make sure it's not broken or cracked and I'll clean it up. Then I'll take the sight glass and I'll use an abrasive cleaner. This is Gojo for hands. That with a towel and I'll use that grit to try to clean up any kind of scale or, or debris that was on there. This did pretty good but there is still a little bit more on there I'd like to get so I'm going to use a razor blade and I'll gently scrape the little bit that the cleaner couldn't get off. This isn't going to be perfect, but it's going to be a huge improvement. Now I'm going to put the gasket on the exterior part of the glass to make sure it's set properly. And on this gasket, you'll see there's a flat side and a beveled side. The beveled side faces the bulb, and the flat side faces outwards towards the top of the housing. I'll make sure that the top part of the housing is free of debris and I'll work this sight glass back into the housing so that the gasket sits properly and doesn't flip up. Now I can turn the power on and these lights look great. Now's a good time to set these about where I think they should go. I'm going to accent this tree that this is next to. Now this timer has multiple settings. I'm going to just do a quick run through of these. Obviously the top is power off on with power on that means you can test the lights they'll come on immediately when you turn that on. The auto setting has sub settings below it. If you were to set this for auto the lights would come on at dusk that means sunset and turn off at dawn that means sunrise. If you set this for four the lights will come on at dusk sunset and then turn off after four hours. Six for six, eight for eight, and ten for ten. So here's the settings here auto four six eight and ten you're going to use the photo cell. This is what's going to indicate whether or not the sun is out. This should be placed somewhere in the open so that it can get sunlight when the sun is out. Now there's a photo cell test as well which is no delay. I am going to use the timer. So to get into this timer settings you have to turn the dial to timer. Now I can actually work in the timer. You'll see there's AM PM notification lights. The PM is lit up now. There's up and down buttons and then clock, timer on, timer off button. To set the clock you push down on the clock button and then push on one of the up or down buttons to set the time. I'll go below 12 and this goes from PM to AM. The only way to set this from AM to PM is to flip all the way through 12 hours. So I'll set it back above and you'll see here the PM notification light comes on and I'll set the time of day. Now I want to set the time that the lights will come on. So I'll push the time on. If I change the dial out of timer I won't be able to adjust the time on or off of the lights. So I'll keep it in the timer setting and I'll double check 810. It goes off 
just before 7 in the morning and you'll see the PM notification light is off. I push down on the button and it comes back on when I release the button. So I know this is set up for AM and PM. So this looks great. Everything is working correctly. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.